Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Channel, channel, channel. So, today I wanted to, I'm kind of, I had this, this idea. Actually, the whole idea came to me when I got my Sephora play box for the month. Ugh, Sephora play box, yay. Um, I kind of wanted to start a series on my channel which I where I show you guys what I get every month from Sephora. It is a $10 subscription and I think you probably pay 99 cents for shipping so the total cost is $10.99 and you get five deluxe samples worth of things. So it is November so these are everything I got from November. I also wanted to do a full face of makeup using the things that I've gotten thus far from the play box. So, a little bit of background, okay? How did I even get introduced to this play box? Because honestly, I had no idea. I was on Instagram, right? Because, you know, my life. I was on Instagram and I saw this before play box for August and they got a mini beauty blender. And I was like, shut the front door, right? I was like, shut the front door. So it got me really interested. I paid for August. I, I As soon as I saw it, I paid the $10 hoping that I was going to get the August box. No, it was already too late for that. Clearly, I didn't know that. So I paid and I ended up getting my box for September. I necessarily do not, I do not remember what I got, like what I have separately for September and October, but I'm going to show you just like everything I have collectively. So I'm going to show, I'm going to start off clean and show you what I have for November and then do a full face of makeup using stuff that I've gotten from, from the play box in general. So you're going to see the stuff that I got from September and October. I just necessarily don't remember which month was which. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So starting off, your box comes like this. Super cute. Tell me it's not. Like, super cute. Okay. And it opens like this. Okay. And the first thing you get in the box is this, I guess you can say it's kind of like a pamphlet. And you get a, number one, I love this. This is like my favorite part, which I didn't know. You get a 50 point beauty insider pass. So these, it's like a card these cards and you can scan them you you can bring them to your local Sephora you you cannot do it online you bring this card to your local Sephora and the 50 points go automatically into your account so it's pretty much like 50 free dollars you know because if you know anything about the Sephora point system the amount of money you pay is the amount of money that gets put into your account for your balance so and this is something you receive every single month so so far I've gotten 150 if you want to count the three months I've gotten 150 points so, shut up. All right. So now you're going into your pamphlet. It's gonna the back side. It's gonna show you like some cool stuff that they just like. It, it is really artsy, which I love. And then the other side is gonna show you absolutely everything that you get in your box. Um, they're gonna tell you why you love it, how you love it, and how to use it. So great. Okay. So everything comes in this super duper duper cute pouch. I have, these are the ones that I've gotten for the previous month. I've like been collecting them. This is my favorite one because my favorite color is pink if you haven't noticed yet. My favorite color is pink and I absolutely love this one. It's kind of like a silk material. Oh, oh. And this is I believe the one I got last month. Super cute. And it, they, these are like quality pouches. They're not something where it's going to like rip or something. It's nothing like that. It actually you can put this to use okay you can drop your makeup in here put it in your purse and go about your business great okay so let's start straight with what is in the box um oh fyi i'm gonna try for everything here i'm gonna try to put the price of a full-size product either here 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 somewhere of how much everything costs so you know like do you think it's worth it to buy let's say a $59 product versus getting a $10 monthly subscription I don't know but it's up to you but I do want to let you guys know of the full prices okay so starting off we have the origins clear improvement active charcoal mask I am so excited for this um I saw this and I almost like cried I know it is the it is the brand or origins or origins yeah New York accent is serious <laughs> origins 
this is a great brand. I've heard great, great, great things about them. So I'm excited to try. So let's say, let's see what they say about this product. You will expect brighter looking, smoother feeling skin when you apply this mask containing white china clay and activated charcoal. It acts like a magnet drawing out poor clogging toxins. So I feel that this is gonna be part of my skin routine anyway. Like I'm here for it. Next, I have a Marc Jacobs Beauty Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. They say that this luxurious formula adds mega volume, ultra length, and super concentrated pigment for lashes that are most that are almost too good to be real. I'm here for it. Okay. So you guys will see, of course, if you stay to the end of the video, which I hope that you will. Um, how I have used this mascara and what my thought process is, my thought process on this product is but I mean hey I know that Marc Jacobs is a relatively expensive more higher end brand and the fact that I just got their freaking mascara in a $10 box I mean come on come on come on okay next I'm gonna show you guys this is the Moroccan oil treatment um, this formula acts as a base for your hair, prepping it for other products and styling tools or as a smoothing finishing step. Not only does this add luxurious shine, but it even speeds up your hair drying time. Win-win. Okay, so this is the oil. It's a good nice size. It actually is 0.34 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters. It's not a heavy oil, so this is something that you can use to layer. I do have natural hair, although you guys usually see me in my wigs and my weaves and my braids and stuff. I do have natural hair, so that kind of, that goes to why they have given me an oil. I know in the previous month they actually gave me shampoo and conditioner, which low-key has been my holy grail, so I need to check that out. Alright, next we have the, this is a part of the Sephora collection. This is the Ultra Shine Lip Gel in the color Perfect Nude. They say that this moisturizing gloss visually plumps with its light reflecting formula and high shine finish to create an ultimate nude lip. I love this. I'm wearing it now, clearly. All right, so next we have, this is the, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Cue de la Paris. This is the Vino Source Thirst, Quen Thirst Quenching Serum. Um, it claims that it says that this is hyaluronic acid and grape water work to aid your skin's moisture balance. Patented grapeseed ingredients brighten and repair for a soft, smooth complexion. I didn't think I was gonna like this. I'm somebody who, if I can't pronounce half the things on, if I can't even pronounce the name of it, there's a chance I'm not gonna like it. I like this. I like this quite a bit. Um, it's it's kind it's it's like a hydro gel where the it doesn't smell like anything it smells fresh which i guess is great but it has the consistency of almost water so as soon as you put it on like you can tell that it's gonna hydrate but it's not going to leave you greasy or anything like that last but not least this is a fragrance um this month i actually got the burp that was awkward Burberry blush perfume this is it. It's a nice little sample. It smells wonderful. Like, let me spray some of I have Gucci on right now, but Gucci can't wait. Oh, um, it smells so good. And this is the way I like to smell. And it goes into the whole questionnaire thing that you're supposed to fill out if you do order the box. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, but I'm not done yet. Just continue on. I know I'm saying this right now because I'm not going to get to say it at the end of this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you are not subscribed, please do. We're trying to build a family here. And I have so many new ideas that I want to come up with, which including a skincare routine, which I'm super excited to film. But I'm just kind of starting to get my ducks in a row. But when I do, oh, it's going to be so lit. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for the my full face using some things I got from my previous play boxes including this one and this is the finished look actually there are parts of the video where I do not have um like for instance I don't have any I haven't been sent any concealers any eyeshadows um any bronzers there's no point of putting those 
parts of the video in there because it's not about the play box so everything that you see I will show you I will try to leave a full price um, of these products somewhere in the video just so you know if you're interested in buying or even looking it up at Sephora if you're interested in looking up what everything is um, I'll probably leave the name of everything in the description box below anyway and yeah so stay tuned for my video and I will see you guys next time Put, ooh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce this okay this um, I'm gonna try using this apparently it is a serum for dehydrated skin it says apply morning and evening to face and neck before your moisturizer well unfortunately I already moisturized my skin so, ooh okay I already moisturized my skin hello so I'm just gonna put this on just to see because I don't know man like uh, a serum Ooh, I like the way it feels it almost kind of feels like nothing this is the dr. brand pores no more luminizing primer um, apply to clean okay skin it's supposed to give you like an overall more radiant look it does not say anything about mattifying which I'm actually really really scared about because I do have oily skin so now I'm going to go in with my brows. The only brow product that I've gotten so far is the Gimme Brow from Benefit. It's almost like a mascara wand for your brows. However, I believe this is the color dark. I really, really, really do believe so. I don't have the paper with me, but I believe this is the color dark. So I'm going along and I just did, I just concealed my brows and now I'm using, I just used the concealer to set and I'm also going to be using the, this is from the play box, <laughs> I'm using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, Veil, Mineral Veil setting powder. I'm not sure if it comes with a different color, however, because to me this is very pink, it has like a pink tint to it, but I'm hoping that it's going to be translucent. Bare Minerals, I hope you don't disappoint because I don't know man, we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, so my eyes are prepped, I'm going to go on and do my eyeshadow and then I will be back. So my eyes are done, let's do a little bit of eyeshadow. Now we're going to go in with foundation. This is the Make It Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation in the color, do I have a color? Oh. Y505. <sighs> this looks a little gray. This looks like I may need to mix it. Two pumps. It doesn't look bad on my hand, but my face is a little bit darker than my hands, so <laughs> I don't know. So let me see. Let me dot it on my face because I honestly haven't tried. Um. Let me see, let me blend it out. You know what? It's honestly, it's not that bad. However, I can see this going quite left. So what I'm going to do, yeah, no, it's going to end up looking real gray. I'm going to mix it. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Chestnut. This is what I actually um, concealed the top of my brows with. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of that because it is darker. So this is the color let's see if it makes it different okay it does So under my eyes, again, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I kind of poured out some of the cap. I'm not sure if you'll see how pink it is, but it is, it's just pink. I'm scared. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to bronze and contour and I will be right back. I'm going to use, this is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Crayon in the color black. Regular regular black eyeliner. I really have no qualms about this. It's like pretty easy. I have been using this and I like it. Something just flew past my window real tough. I'm gonna do my highlighter. 
I'm nervous about this. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Jobs. This is in the color Moonlight. To be honest, I'm very nervous about this because this can go from literally one extreme to another. It's very pigmented and if it drops somewhere that it's not supposed to drop, it's not coming out. <laughs> so I'm just going to do one, two small drops. I'm literally just... It dries so freaking quick. Alright, a lot. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to go in with another droplet more so up here and up here and I feel like I already used too much. Okay. Oh, ooh, okay. Now I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs mascara. Wands like this scare me. Why do they scare me? Because I feel like they're so big. They're so big that they can potentially mess up. Okay, whatever eyeshadow you have. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to be super careful. Top lashes, ten out of ten. Bottom lashes, I would say six out of ten. Because it, this shit right here to me is too big for your bottom lash. Like, don't get me wrong. You probably could get really, really nice wispy lashes okay so now for my lips i'm using the sephora this is what is this this is the sephora gel gloss ultra bright ultra shine lip gel fancy word for saying a gloss um which you can use it alone any type of gloss that has a tint to it i'm just gonna put a brown liner okay it smells like bubble gum love it so and oh wow i can't have this one Okay, this is the finished look using everything. Um, I do like it quite a bit. Hmm. Like it quite a bit. There's some things that I think I would probably alter if it was up to me, but being that Sephora is giving me things based on everything that I answered in my questionnaire, they got it pretty good. I must admit, they got it pretty damn good. <laughs> 